Dr. Hampton here with Alicia Archer, who was my guest on my Protecting Your Nest podcast episode number 40. I can't believe it's been 40 episodes where we talked about all the health benefits of stretching among other topics. Link to that episode will be in the show notes to this video. But Alicia told me she wanted to ask me a question related to skin. So Alicia, what's your skin question for me? Well, I think we all want to know the truth, Dr. Hampton. Does food have a direct correlation to our skin health? And if it in fact does, what are the recommended foods to maintain optimal skin health in terms of elasticity and just the the radiance that we all want to achieve? <laughs> yeah, well, trust me, uh, call me shallow, but I do want to look nice as well. So I get that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try to answer this question. And again, I think everybody watching this video wants to have beautiful skin. And, you know, but we've always heard the old saying, you know, we are what we eat, right? So, yes. so I always tell people that you want to think about your skin as actually being what you have from what you did three months ago, actually. So it's not what you do today, it's what you did three months ago that reflects your current uh, skin state, state. And it's actually important that your uh, skin cells are being fed the right nutrients, right? So if it gets the right nutrient, that's going to be important because your skin cells actually make collagen. Mm -hmm. And when you see a glow in a pregnant mom or in a baby, that glow, a lot of that glow comes from their uh, collagen. So, so the question is, how do you achieve that glow? How do you get enough of that beautiful collagen in your skin. Number one, and you may be surprised to hear this, but I think a ketogenic diet is very helpful. And mm -hmm. nobody's surprised to hear that if they know anything about me. And the reason why is because the keto diet actually helps to reduce inflammation in your skin. That's one thing. The other thing it is, is it's a low carb, high fat diet. So more fat in your skin is a good thing. And I'm gonna tell you why. All the cells in your body are covered with fat. And so if you want to have healthy cells, they need to have fat to cover it to kind of protect the cells. And so people on a high fat diet, which is kind of common with keto, they're going to have better skin cells. And the and, and thing that may surprise you the most is that the keto diet also leads to a lower blood glucose level that then leads to something called a reduction in glycation. Think about glycation as like a lot of sugar floating around and wherever it goes, it irritates things. And we right. don't want our collagen to get weakened by this glycation. And when you have glycation uh, occurring that's weakening your collagen, all of a sudden you end up with wrinkles, lines, and sagging skin. So that's some of the benefits of keto. The second thing is pretty obvious, and I think we both can illustrate this. H2O, yay. <laughs> you want to <laughs> hydrate your skin and drinking plenty of water will increase your skin moisture. And we could only imagine that your skin is going to look better when it's got moisture in it. A third thing that you want to think about that I share with my patients is you want to consider hydrolyzed collagen particles as a dietary supplement. And what's cool about this supplement is that it actually encourages your your skin cells to make more collagen, and it kind of awakens those uh, skin cells that are kind of hibernating and make, make them make more collagen. So that's actually the things you want to focus on. So it's very simple. Drink more water, consider a keto diet, and take those collagen supplements to help achieve the skin you've always wanted. So does that kind of help answer your questions, Alicia? It definitely reinforces my choice to have bone broth in the morning. Oh, I love bone broth because it has collagen. So that it does. Love it. So thank you, Alicia, for your question. And guys, I want you to check out Alicia's uh, YouTube channel and her on Instagram under Kinky Sweat, where she inspires her followers with tips on fitness, movement, hair, and of course, beauty. And I really want to thank you guys for visiting my YouTube channel today. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, be well and continue to protect your nest.